So now let's go into the controversy. Um, do you already know what it is by now? Oh yeah, I remember. Because I told you on Discord uh, about this, and you were you were quite upset about it, and I was quite upset about it as well, which doesn't happen all that often. And I'm sure our listeners know this as well, because we usually get a cinematic trailer on Tuesday, and then we get the gameplay or the release trailer on Thursday when the adventure also released. And often, not always, but often the cinematic trailers are the highlight of the adventure. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're so beautiful. They add so much story to the world. Um, but the controversy is, or the bad news, I should say, is they're stopping with it. Uh, we didn't see a cinematic trailer last time. And they kind of combined it with the release trailer. So we do get a little bit, but not as much as we used to. And somebody asked Mike Chapman about it. And he said this, I get you, totally. After releasing 10 adventures, we looked back and thought overall, showcasing more of the gameplay felt right, combined with releasing them on the same day as the update. And I don't know about you, but this, does, this doesn't really make all that much sense. <laughs> because wouldn't it be better to show two trailers? Like this, this seems like a step back, but uh, I'll let you talk uh, for now. How do you feel about this? So the main reason is probably because it's really expensive, um, and mm-hmm. then that sort of it puts a tin foil hat where our adventures really making rather that much money to justify these trailers, and we not even finished the first year, and they've already scaled them back in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, if it means the adventures get better because there's more money and resource to put into them, fine, I'll be happy with it. But there's there was that special moment of a Monday afternoon or even a Friday afternoon before the adventure drops, them posting the thumbnail and everyone, oh, what's going on here? Mm-hmm. You know, what, what does this mean? And we can see Merrick there again, because it's always Merrick. Um, yeah. And, then and even Monday, if you didn't like the adventure, you still, you know, you still had that trailer, right? Yeah, and a lot of it contextualizes what's actually going on in the adventure, um, mm-hmm. and it adds scenes that you don't see in game. So we'd have Monday roll around and we'd get the trailer and everyone would be hyped. And then... I think the issue is with the cinematic is that it gives you enough to sort of know what the adventure is about and it fills in the gaps, but then the launch trailers came out and they'd fucking spoil it. Yeah. So I just stopped watching them. I think they were yeah. awful, the launch trailers. And this was the same one. They mixed the cinematic trailer in and I'm going in expecting to see a cinematic <laughs> and the ending just gets spoiled for me again. Which yeah, it kind of sucks, right? Because you do you, you want to get hyped for the adventure, you want to see the you know the, the acting, you want to see the cinematic, but then you get still get spoiled, so you can't even separate them anymore. Exactly. Like use an example. Um, imagine if instead of Herald of the Flame, you got that awesome with where you got the awesome gym teaser where he's fixing Flameheart's body and singing. That is just pure magic as a trailer. Mm -hmm. Or Return of the Dam with Pendragon and the song and all that sort of stuff. But imagine instead of that now, you get that spliced in with the adventure and say with Return of the Dam, why is Pendragon stuck his sword in the painting? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, oh, it's Jim. Oh, we've just revealed his Ashen Lord form right at the end. It feels like this is the way they're going. Now this one, this one too, to use a more uh, recent example, we see the Dark Brethren coming out of the portal in the trailer. Like, spoilers, that's the ending, man. And when you play it, because I wait till retail to play them now, I played it for the first time when it came out last week, and that happened at the end. I was like, oh, yeah, so surprising. It was spoiled, <laughs> yeah, it was spoiled for me earlier in the week. Yeah. I mean, we kind of knew that Dark Brethren were involved, obviously, but still, like, you, you should not show that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so how are you going to handle it? Are you going to watch the trailers next time? No. Like, they revealed me? Okay. All right. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's worth seeing those cool cinematic bits. Like, the bit at the end with Briggsy and the start with Madame Olivia is quite cool. Mm-hmm. But I just don't trust that it's not going to be spoiled. Kind of yeah. like Forsaken Hunter. Is it Forsaken Hunter? Yeah, for Second Hunter spoiled a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they spoiled who who is behind all of this. Oh look, who could have done this? Merrick is killed. Like what happened to Merrick? Like we saw in the trailer, dude. We just saw in the trailer. So even though we praise the cinematic trailers, like they, they also did spoil stuff sometimes. But I felt they were doing a better job with it, you know, with the uh, the last couple of uh, of ones. Well even um, even the Rogue's Legacy, you see how Tasha gets cursed? 
you get mm-hmm. the context yeah. of that, and you see Jim remaking Flameheart, and then you that seems not actually in the game, but a memory mm-hmm. is a snapshot. But mm-hmm. you see that process in the chalice or what have you. You see Merrick get kidnapped by the Dark Brethren and they basically beaten up by them as well. Um, yeah. And you see Ramsey's speech right at the start and the Shrouding of Golden Sands. You, all these examples just uh, seem to, all this context is just going to disappear or most of it is. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. And that's a shame. And I don't, like it's pro- like you said, it's probably money thing. And uh, I don't really fault them all that much if they need to do it. Because obviously they, they thought about it. Like if they wanted, I think they would keep the cinematic trailers up as well. But I'm just so disappointed that that they couldn't keep it up for two more adventures, you know? Just just these 12, like, and then you can change. Like, probably there's going to be more adventures after these 12, but just keep it up for the 12 you've planned. Especially the last one, I think that could have been an amazing trailer. And and then you're done, and then you can change the course again, like, like the companies usually do. Uh, how do you feel about that? Just, you know, bite through the sour apple and make two more trailers? Yeah, I think so, because we don't really know what's... We don't know if the 12 are its own self-contained thing, and it's going to be almost like season 2 and 13 comes out. Mm. And we are treating these like arcs, but it's not even the case of finishing the arc, because the 10th Adventure, which starts this arc, had a cinematic trailer, so it's just a really weird decision to cut it off at 10. Yep. But yeah, like, we just have to deal with it. We don't get them anymore. So, so yeah. Anything else to say about it? Just a really depressing start to the episode, isn't it? It is <laughs> a little, little bit of a downer, but that's a controversy. Uh, or it is a controversy because um, most players are not happy with it, and uh, we are also not. 